Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Cantonese ebook before it's gone. Welcome to CantoneseClass101.com's Sanfenzhong Guangdonghua, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. 你好,我是Olivia, 很高興跟大家見面。Hi, I'm Olivia, nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic Cantonese expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Cantonese. There are a few different ways to say it, depending on how many people you are talking to. Let's first see how Cantonese speakers introduce themselves to a single person. 你好,我是Olivia. 好高興認識你。Hi, I'm Olivia. Nice to meet you. 你好,我是Olivia. 好高興認識你。Start by saying 你好,我是... Then say your name. 你好,我是Olivia. Finally, say 好高興認識你。你好,我是Olivia. 好高興認識你。Good job! Now let's see the same sentence when talking to more than one person. 你好,我是Olivia. 好高興認識你哋。Hi, I'm Olivia. Nice to meet you all. 你好,我是Olivia. 好高興認識你哋。So, what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a closer look at these together. 你好,我是Olivia has not been changed. 你好,我是 stands in both case for Hi, I am. Finally, pay attention to the ending. We went from 你 to 你哋. What has changed is the word for you in Cantonese. The word for you is different if it is singular or plural. 你 is singular, and 你哋 is plural. One more time. To introduce yourself to one person in Cantonese is 你好,我是Olivia. 好高興認識你。To introduce yourself to more than one person is 你好,我是Olivia. 好高興認識你哋。Now it's time for Olivia's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands. Always introduce yourself to the higher ranking persons before those of lower rank. In most cases, the person of the highest ranking will be the most elder person. If you use the correct sentence with Cantonese speakers, they're definitely going to be impressed. Do you know how we say thank you in Cantonese? You'll learn how to say this and many other words in the next lesson. Hatsikin, see you then! Olivia. Hi everybody, I'm Olivia. Welcome to CantoneseClass101.com's 三分鐘廣東話, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Cantonese. Today, we're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank others. 準備好未? Are you ready? 那就開始啦! Let's start! There are basically two different ways to thank someone. When thanking someone for a service or assistance, we say 唔該, 唔該, 唔該 means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add 曬, 唔該曬, 唔該曬, 曬 means entirely. So 唔該曬 is like saying thank you very much. Another way to thank someone in Cantonese is it is used when receiving a gift or money. And again, to say thank you very much, just add sai. Let's break this phrase down. To is many, and is thanks. Sai means entirely. 
Thank you very much. 多谢晒 How do you answer when you are thanked? It's easy. Just say, 唔使客气，唔使客气，唔使客气。Literally means no need to be polite, but it is the equivalent of you are welcome. So when someone says 唔该 or 多谢 to you, you can simply reply with 唔使客气 Now it's time for Olivia's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use 唔该 or 多谢 remember that 多谢 expresses a deeper appreciation of personal kindness and is used in most formal situations. Do you know what 再见 means? In our next lesson, you'll learn this and other greetings in Cantonese. 多谢收睇，下次见。Olivia. Hi, everybody. I'm Olivia. Welcome to Cantonese Class 101.com's 三分钟广东话 the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. In the last lesson, we learned how to show gratitude by saying 唔该 or 多谢 In this lesson, we'll learn some of the most common greetings used in Hong Kong. 准备好未 Are you ready? 咁就开始啦 Let's start. The most common informal greeting is hello, ha. Hello. Just as you can guess, hello is just hello with the Cantonese pronunciation. We use it when meeting someone, just like in English. But be careful, this is very casual, so don't use it for business meetings. And now let's discuss a more formal way to greet people. The one you are probably used to hearing is 你好，你好。Literally, 你好 means you are well. However. We may also interpret it as "hello." We use "ne ho" when meeting someone for the first time or for higher-ranking people, such as the elderly. When it's time to leave, we say "bye bye" for informal situations. And you are right; it's just like the English "bye bye" with a Cantonese pronunciation, "bye bye." And in formal situations, use "joy gin," "joy gin." Joygin means goodbye. Finally, in Cantonese, we have an expression meaning "see you soon" that can be considered both formal and informal. Ha chi gin, ha chi gin. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Cantonese. Let's go over them again. When meeting your friends or family, say hello. When leaving in an informal situation, say bye bye. When meeting older people or someone you don't know, 你好 When leaving in a formal situation, 再见 And to say "see you soon" in a way that's formal and informal, say 下次见 It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Olivia's insights. In formal situations, Cantonese speakers commonly greet each other by shaking hands. But if we meet someone we're very close with, we pat each other on the arm or on the back. During the next lesson, we'll learn the meaning of the phrase "ne sik ne sik gong yang man." Do you already know it? I'll be waiting for you in our next 三分钟广东话 lesson. 下次见。Hello, I'm Olivia. Hi, everybody. I'm Olivia. Welcome to Cantonese Class 101.com's 三分钟广东话 the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greetings in Cantonese. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Cantonese, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're saying, even if their answer is no. Here's how to say it: Ne sik ne sik gong ying man. Ne sik ne sik gong ying man. Let's break it down. In the last lesson, we mentioned that ne means you, 
Sing um sing is a form used to introduce the question using the verb to know. It literally means no, don't know. But this is how we form the question: Do you know how to? Then we have the verb to speak, gong, followed by ying man, which means English. Literally, it means you know or not know English. Ne sing um sing gong ying man. To learn more about forming Cantonese questions. Please look at our Absolute Beginner series on CantoneseClass101.com. You can find very detailed grammar lessons and resources there. To make this sentence more polite, we just need to add "Excuse me, mho yi si" in the front. Everything else stays the same. Mho yi si, ne si mu si gong yang man. Mho yi si, ne si mu si gong yang man. The responses you will receive could be one of these three: sick, yes, sick, 少少 a little, 少少唔识 no, 唔识 Since this last one is a negative statement, we see the negative word 唔 before the verb to know sick, 唔识 Did you notice that is the same word used in sick and sick? We'll talk more about it in a future lesson. Now it's time for Olivia's insights. For those of you who are not only English speakers, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. Many people in Hong Kong study other languages, so maybe you will get lucky. Just substitute Ying Man with Yap Man for Japanese, Sai Ban Ya Man for Spanish, Duck Man for German. Yi Dai Lei Man for Italian. In this lesson, we mentioned the expression "um ho yi si," but did you know that this could also be used as an apology? In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Cantonese. It's never too late to show your good manners. I'll see you in our next 三分钟广东话 lesson. 下次见。Hello, I'm Olivia. Hi, everybody. I'm Olivia. Welcome to CantoneseClass101.com's 三分钟广东话 the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase "um ho yi si, ne si um si gong ying man." Excuse me, do you speak English? We mentioned the word "um ho yi si," which means "excuse me." In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use "um ho yi si." And other words when apologizing in Cantonese, we should use um ho yi si in formal situations, such as when we're talking to or asking a stranger for help. For example, um ho yi si, yap hao hai bin. Excuse me, where is the entrance? Um ho yi si, ne cai zhu ngo guo dai. Excuse me, you're stepping on my bag. Sometimes we also hear people say um gai, as mentioned in lesson two. Um, guy means thank you, but it also means excuse me, as used to draw somebody's attention. It is commonly used when ordering food or pushing your way through a crowd. We can use this phrase in both formal and informal speech. Um, guy, ya bu yi nai cha. Excuse me, a cup of hot milk tea, please. Um, guy, zhe zhe. Excuse me, please let me through. But unlike um, ho yi si, we cannot use um, guy when apologizing. So when you do something bad, remember to put on that sorry face and use "um ho yi si." Um ho yi si, I'm late again. Sorry, I'm late again. Um ho yi si can be used for either "excuse me" or "I'm sorry." But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use a different phrase. That phrase is "dui um ju." It means "I am sorry." Dui um ju. For example. 对唔住，我打烂咗你部电脑。Sorry, I broke your computer. Now it's time for Olivia's insights. If you accidentally bump into someone in Hong Kong, you can say 唔好意思 ，excuse me， or 对唔住 ，I'm sorry， but never 唔该。Are you able to count in Cantonese? 
In the next lesson, we will learn the numbers in Cantonese from 1 to 10. I'll be waiting for you in the next lesson of 三分鐘廣東話. Hatsikin! Olivia. Hi everybody, I'm Olivia. Welcome to Cantonese Class 101.com's Sanfen Zhong Guangdong Hua, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. In the last lesson, we learned some words used when apologizing in Cantonese, including 唔好意思 and 对唔住. In this lesson, we're going to learn numbers in Cantonese. Yes, numbers. So zi. From 1 to 10. And you are going to learn them in only three minutes. Sam Fan Zhong. Are you ready? Let's start. Yat. Yat. Yi. Yi. Sam. Sam. Say. Say. Mm. Mm. Lo. Lo. Chat. Chat Bat Bat Gao Gao Sub Sub Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Yat Yi Sam Say Mm Lo Chat Bat Gao Sup Great job! What is before yat? Do you know? It's leng. Zero. Leng. You don't have any more excuses. You can give your friends your cell phone number in Cantonese. Let's try together. We'll use the phrase 我電話號碼是, which means my phone number is. 我電話號碼是, 我電話號碼是, Can you read it by yourself? 9584-9723. Perfect. Now it's time for Olivier's insights. When we go shopping at the markets in Hong Kong, sometimes we can bargain on the price. So learn your numbers well to get a better deal. Do you know the Cantonese word for 100? In the next lesson, we're going to learn the numbers from 11 to 100 in Cantonese. Your task now is to practice the numbers we studied in this lesson. From yat to sub. Hatsikin! Olivia. Hi everybody, I'm Olivia. Welcome to Cantonese Class 101.com's 三分鐘廣東話, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. In the last lesson, we learned the numbers from 1 to 10. Have you forgotten? Here, I'll tell you again. Yat, Yi, Sam, Say, Mm, Lo, Chat, Bat Gao Sub And now let's continue from eleven Sub Yat Sub Yat Sub Yi Sub Yi Sub Sam Sub Sam Sub Say Sub Say Sub M Sub M Sub Lo Sub lo sub chat sub chat sub ba sub ba sub gao sub gao and finally we have 
yi sub, yi sub. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Sub yat, sub yi, sub sam, sub say, sub m, sub lo, sub chat, sub ba, sub gao, yi sub. These numbers are easy to remember. They always start with sub or 10. Then just say the extra number after it. Simple math. Counting from 30 to 100 is super easy. Now I'll give you the tens. Sam sub. Sam sub. Say sub. Say sub. Mm sub. Mm sub. Lok sub. Lok sub. Chat sub, chat sub, ba sub, ba sub, gao sub, gao sub, yat ba, yat ba. These numbers are incredibly easy to remember, don't you think so? The last thing to learn today is how to form compound numbers over 20. This is also super easy. Take the tens and simply add the numbers you learned in the previous lesson. Let's try it out. How would you say 56 in Cantonese? Let's take it step by step. 50 is m sub. And then add 6. Lo. M sub lo. It's done. Isn't that easy? Let's make another number. For instance, 98. Take 90 gao sub and add 8. Ba. Gao sub ba. Now it's time for Olivier's insights. For numbers between 21 and 29, you might hear people saying ya as 20 instead of yi sub. Both can be used in spoken Cantonese. For example, ya yat, yi sub yat, 21. Ya chat, yi sub chat, 27. After only two lessons, you are now able to count to 100 in Cantonese. In the next lesson, we're going to put your number knowledge to use. Do you have all the skills you need to go shopping in Hong Kong? If not, I'll be waiting for you in our next 三分鐘廣東話 lesson. Hatsikin! Olivia. Hi everybody, I'm Olivia. Welcome to CantoneseClass101.com's 三分鐘廣東話, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. In the last lesson, we learned how to count in Cantonese. I hope you spend some time practicing the numbers because they will come in handy today. We're going to learn how to go shopping in Hong Kong. Before we go, you need to know how to say how much is it. 幾錢啊? 幾? Uh, are you ready to go shopping in Hong Kong? Let's go! You see something you like and want to ask the shopkeeper how much it costs. The first thing to say is Mgai. Do you remember what that means? Excuse me. Mgai gai na. Mgai gai na. If we want to be more specific and ask how much is this, First, we need to know the correct measure word for the object. We'll learn about that in the next lesson. For now, let's use the most common one, go. So in the sentence, we'll say, yi go as this, followed by how much. Mgai, yi go gai qin na. Mgai, yi go gai qin na. Excuse me, how much is this? And to ask, excuse me, how much is that? Again, we'll use the most common measure word, go. So to say that, it'll be, go, go. Mgai, go, go, gai qin na. Mgai, go, go, gai qin na. At this point, the shopkeeper will answer directly with the price, followed by, man, the slang term for the Hong Kong dollar. For example, sam sub gao man. What number is sam sub gao? 
I'm not telling you. Okay, okay, it's 39. It costs 39 Hong Kong dollars. Now it's time for Olivia's insights. It's quite common to bargain in markets. Other than saying the specific price you want, you can also just ask for a cheaper price by saying Pan di la, Pan di la. In small boutiques or shops, you can ask, are there any discounts by saying Yao mo zi a, Yao mo zi a. In this lesson, we learned the generic measure word Go. In the next lesson, we'll learn more about what these measure words are and how to use them. I'll be waiting for you in our next 三分鐘廣東話 lesson. Hatsikin! Hi everybody, Olivia here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Cantonese questions. The question for this lesson is, what are tones? Many Cantonese learners find the tones confusing because the intonation in Cantonese is very different from most of the other languages. Tones is the use of pitch to distinguish meaning. Each Chinese character comes with a tone, and it is important to pronounce Cantonese correctly because there are so many words that come with the same Yuping spelling. If a person doesn't pronounce the tone right, a listener may get something completely different from what they actually meant to say. Let's get into more details. How many tones are there? There are six tones in Cantonese. The first tone is high and steady. C C. The second tone starts with a low pitch and rises to a high pitch. C. C. History. The third tone is a mid tone. It's pronounced in the middle of your range and it is steady. C. C. To try. The fourth tone is the lowest tone. C. C. Time. The fifth tone is another rising tone. It starts low, then rises to the middle of your range. C, C, city. Lastly, the sixth tone is low and steady, but not as low as the fourth tone. C, C, is. Do tones really matter? It's not only important, but crucial to master the different tones in Cantonese. Just like how mispronouncing a sound or misreading a character can have a huge impact on meaning. Using the wrong tone can drastically change the meaning of the word or sentences too. For example, ma in the first tone means mother, while ma in the fourth tone means linen, and ma in the fifth tone means horse. Don't get them mixed up. So how was it? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. See you next time! Hatsikin! Hi everybody, Olivia here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Cantonese questions. The question for this lesson is, what is Yutping? Yutping. Yutping, commonly known as Yutping, is the standard, most commonly used phonetic system for spelling Cantonese using Roman letters. It's a way to read and pronounce Cantonese words through English letters and tone numbers. For example, SIU3, seal as seen to laugh, is the Yutping for this character. Even though most Hong Kong people can understand the Yutping or other romanization systems, they are not a substitute for the Chinese characters. Let's get into more details. How is a word built when written in Yutping? Cantonese sound can be broken down into syllables. These syllables can be a standalone word or they can be combined together to form compound words. Each syllable is made up of an initial sound, a final sound, and a tone. 
So for learners who are not familiar with the Chinese characters, we transcribe the syllables into romanized letters or yupin. Here is an example of a syllable in yupin, sing, which means star, s i n g one. Here the initial sound is s, s, and final sound is ing, ing, i n g, and the syllable is in the first tone. The tones in yupin are represented by a number placed on the right side of the syllable. There are numbers from one to six. Now, how common is yupin in Hong Kong? Basically, yupin is the transliteration of Cantonese sound for Cantonese learners, which is related to the International Phonetic Alphabet System. For native speakers, however, this is unnecessary and never taught in school. So don't be surprised when a native speaker is not aware of or doesn't know what yupin is. There are many cases of government transliterated Hong Kong street or district names that use an obscure and unstandardized system. For example, Sam Sui Bo, Sam Sui Bo is commonly known as the Sam Sui Po district, but the transliteration Sam Sui Po is not in line with the Yupping rules. You can listen to all the sounds of Cantonese and see their corresponding Yupping romanization at www.cantoneseclass101.com/cantonese-alphabet. There is a Yupping chart with audio to aid you in perfecting the pronunciation. How was it? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comment below, and I'll try to answer them. See you next time. Hatsikin. Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Cantonese ebook before it's gone.